What is autism? It's a question we often hear. Autism isn't an illness or disease, but a unique way of experiencing the world around us. It's not something you catch or develop. If you're autistic, you're born that way. Signs of autism can appear at any stage of life. And once you're autistic, you're autistic for life. It's important to understand that autism is a spectrum, meaning each autistic individual's experience is unique. Autism is not a medical condition with treatments or a cure, but some people need support to help them with certain things. How does autism affect one's life? This is a question often asked, and the answer is as unique as the individual themselves. Having autism doesn't mean a person is limited or confined. It simply means their brain works in a different way. Autistic individuals may face challenges in communication and social interaction, which can make making friends, having relationships, or getting a job a bit more challenging. But it's important to remember that these challenges don't define them. Just like everyone else, autistic people have unique strengths and talents. They may excel in areas like music, art, mathematics, or have a remarkable memory. They may see the world through a different lens, bringing fresh perspectives and innovative solutions. Sure, there might be areas where they need extra help, but who doesn't? Being autistic doesn't mean life is a constant struggle. It's just a different journey with its own unique experiences and rewards. Being autistic does not have to stop you from having a good life. What does it mean when we say autism is a spectrum? Great question. The autism spectrum is a range of different ways autism can present itself. This means that each autistic person's experience is unique, just like the rest of us. Some people on the spectrum may require very little or no support in their daily lives, while others may need assistance on a regular basis. Now, you may have heard different terms being used like Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASD, and Asperger's Syndrome. These are just other names for autism. For instance, Asperger's Syndrome is sometimes used to describe autistic individuals who have average or above average intelligence. But remember, regardless of the terms used or the level of support needed, every autistic person's experience is unique to them. So to sum it up, autism is a spectrum, and this means everybody with autism is different. What causes autism? This is a question that continues to puzzle scientists and researchers. The exact cause remains unclear, but it's important to debunk some common misconceptions. Autism is not, let me repeat, not a result of bad parenting. It is not caused by vaccines, such as the MMR vaccine. It is not linked to diet or an infection you can spread to others. It is not a consequence of anything a person did or did not do. What we do know is that autism can sometimes be passed on in families suggesting a genetic component. However, it's a complex picture involving perhaps a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Autism is in essence a different way of experiencing the world. It's part of who a person is from birth throughout life. Despite misconceptions, autism is not linked to bad parenting, diet, vaccines or infections. What are the signs of autism in children? Let's delve into this together. Autism can manifest differently in young children and older kids. In younger children, you may notice they don't respond when their name is called, or they avoid eye contact. They may not reciprocate when you smile at them, and certain tastes, smells, or sounds may trigger a strong negative reaction. Repetitive movements such as hand flapping, finger flicking, or body rocking are also common. Young children with autism may not engage in as much verbal communication or pretend play compared to their peers. They might also often repeat the same phrases. As children grow older, signs of autism may evolve or become more noticeable. Older children with autism might struggle to understand what others are thinking or feeling. Their speech patterns may be unusual, with a tendency to repeat phrases or talk at others, rather than engaging in a two-way conversation. A strict daily routine is often preferred and any changes can cause significant distress. They might also develop a deep interest in specific subjects or activities to the point of obsession. Remember, not all children with autism will exhibit all these signs and some may display others not listed here. Autism is a spectrum, meaning it presents differently in every individual. Understanding the signs of autism can help ensure early intervention and support. After all, every child deserves the opportunity to thrive.